right guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is James and this is Killing It Country. If you could smell a season, I feel like today you could smell spring. It's beautiful here, everything is melting. Um, opinions differ on whether or not that's good or bad uh, based on how you feel about greenhouse gas emissions and climate change and all of those kinds of things. But honestly, I'm just happy for some sunshine and uh, it feels like it's time to start getting a little bit of work done, which is nice. Um, this tree behind me, I'm gonna get this cut down today, I hope. Um, this is a tree that, uh, as you can see, has been previously marked by the linemen that, uh, that take care of keeping the hydro corridor uh, clear of the trees. They have been here in the last couple of years to, uh, to trim the trees, but this tree, uh, notorious for getting caught on the BX and especially the KX when I come through here with the mini excavator. And I do plan on uh, continuing my road through here a little bit. So the plan is going to be, uh, we'll get the chainsaw out, uh, fueled up, oiled up, checked out, make sure it's ready to go. And then I'm going to, with the use of a ladder, uh, I'm gonna take off as many of the branches on this side of the tree as I can. We are next to the power lines. Uh, something I like to do when I'm cutting trees next to power lines is I like to take the opportunity to remove as many branches as I can uh, with the hope that I can shift the center of mass of this tree off to the side that I want the tree to fall. It's not rocket science, right? Make this side of the tree as light as possible. Make that side of the tree as heavy as possible. Still make all your conventional cuts in order for the tree to fall in that direction. You're almost guaranteed it's gonna go in that direction unless uh, it's crazy windy or you've done something terribly wrong. So that's the plan. If you wanna see this tree cut down today, you're in the right spot. Stick around, let's do it. All right, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, this is the tree here we're gonna be dealing with. Um, I've got a ladder set up. The ladder is not ideal. You shouldn't really use a ladder when you're doing this kind of stuff. I get that. I have smaller ladders. I have bigger ladders. This is uh, kind of my in-between size ladder. Um, so the name of the game here is gonna be just go up, take one limb off, turn the saw off, come down, move the limb, repeat, right? Um, the ground is, you know, a little bit frozen, so I have to be careful with the, uh, with the climbing angle on the ladder to make sure that it doesn't trip out on me. Um, if I do uh, have any concerns, I can get a ratchet strap or something for the bottom to pull it into the tree to make sure that it's not gonna move, but I don't anticipate having that problem. Uh, my saw, still MS-261, it's been really good. I did just have to do some, uh, some needle bearing work on this thing under here. I can link to that video too if anybody's interested. It's been a really great saw. This is a, a really good all-in-one saw for me. It's your, uh, your entry model contractor saw, or at least it was the year that I purchased it. Um, it's just a little bit better than your, uh, than your crappy tire special, so to speak. So let's uh, get some earplugs put in and we'll see if this thing will even start because it's been months since I've used it and we'll get to work. I find these foam earplugs to be awesome. They're a lot better than, uh, than the headphones that go over your head, I guess. I mean, I like to wear a cowboy hat sometimes, so they don't really fit over the cowboy hat. These end up being much better anyway. I've kind of just gotten used to using them all the time. Just reach over the top of your head, pull up on the top of your ear, roll them up till they're nice and small, push it in there, hold it for a second while it expands, good to go. Oh yeah, don't drop start a chainsaw too, that's very bad. So the edge of my trail here, right here where the ladder was sitting, it's pretty frozen. It's, uh, it's not digging into the snow like the other side of the ladder. Brought it out a little bit. It will dig in a little better in that position, but it's too far out. If I'm up there with a chainsaw, this could trip. 
And this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying common sense. It's not smart. I'm gonna go get a ratchet strap or a rope or something. I'm gonna secure the bottom of that ladder to the bottom of the tree. It's so easy. Why would you not want to feel confident while you're working? Let's get a ratchet strap. All right, nice big heavy ratchet strap. Totally overkill for what we're doing. You don't need a ratchet strap this big to do this, but it was on the top of the pile. And you know what, I'm, I'm actually not even gonna use the ratcheting portion of that. That there, I'm just gonna tie it off to the bottom rung. It's totally adequate, guys. We're not uh, holding down a big load here. We're just wanting to prevent the bottom of this ladder from moving while we're on it. And you can even tie it off and you can preload it by pulling out the bottom, you know? take some of the slack out of it by uh, pulling the bottom of the ladder out a little bit. If you're worried that it's slipping, force it to slip. Get that movement over with so that you can go up there confidently. So, how long did that take? Not long at all. How much better do I feel about going up that ladder? A lot better. Well, I really, really don't feel that it's necessary to take any more branches off of that tree in order to get that thing down safely. These, uh, these power lines, 12,000 volts, I believe, not to be messed with. Let's undo that ratchet strap. Pretty basic stuff, really. Not, uh, not taking this tree down to set up a, a launch pad to go to space. There's no rocket science happening here. Slow down, think. Somebody undoubtedly will be thinking, for somebody that talks about common sense so much, you sure don't use very much safety equipment. Yeah, you're not wrong. But, I've done some pretty sketchy stuff successfully in the past. I uh, spent 16 years employed as a seagoing marine engineering officer. I've brought, I shouldn't say I've brought, I have assisted in the engine room operations while bringing heavy icebreakers across northern Canada, uh, west to east. Uh, I've worked on vessels that have done pollution control, science, buoy tending, all sorts of stuff on the Great Lakes and the east coast around Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. Trust me, the stuff that they had me doing on that vessel, those vessels, way worse than what you've witnessed here. Common sense, not very common anymore. So, we got all the weight off the north side of that tree. You can actually see the places where the hydro company or the power company have removed branches from this tree. The, the tree trunk is actually deflected because of the weight that has remained on the south side of the tree. This tree's got a huge bow in it, which is interesting.
All right. So I've got lots of escape routes, right? Towards you guys, out towards there. Could probably even manage to get through there to safety if I needed to, but it won't be necessary. Take my notch right out of the backside of the tree here. So if you have a tool available to you, use it. Push on the tree a little bit with this. Why not? Extra insurance. So the way I've preloaded this machine pushing on that tree doesn't exactly line up with the notch. That's okay. It's away from the wires, right? That's what I want. So, if there's anything that the last couple of years has taught me around here, it's try not to bite off more than you can chew. I'm not gonna clean this whole tree up in this video. It's way too much work for today, I'm too busy. But uh, it's definitely not going anywhere. It's laying on top of about 400 cedar trees. Tweet stuck and sawdust in my mouth. Oh, you're just in time. Put hands on the bottom of this chainsaw for me while I pull down on the branch to see if we can get it unstuck. <laughs> yeah, I could. I just, I don't want the saw to fall uncontrollably if I can avoid it. Just come in there and uh, wiggle it out if you can. Well, I, I'll pull down on this branch from the end. There we go. Beautiful. Does it ever open things up in here, eh? <laughs> I did. I, I faced the north side of the tree and then uh, cut the notch. And then I just thought, you know what? I have the excavator. I may as well just push on it too. Like it fell easy, but yeah. you have the gear. Why not use it? Um, all right. I'm going to go grab a strap. Hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Always make sure you walk away from your excavator with the bucket way up in the air. Yeah. How's your back? You want to pull on this for me? Hook me on when I get in there. Um, I mean, should I put the tractor or put the excavator down there first, maybe, and... Yeah, so yeah. Yep. All right. 
right. Didn't think we'd get any KX footage in this video, but what the hell, eh? As well. Can you go on the middle one? I'll let you get out of there. <laughs> All right, let's lift it off the stump first. Bit of weight there. All right. That'd be a lot to ask the machine to slew that tree. So we'll set it down. We'll go back in with a saw and uh, see if we can trim off a few more branches. gets a little lower every time so I can just keep picking the branches off. It'd be nice if I could just leave a lot of the branches there, honestly. Just keep, well, you cut the branches off, pull it down again, cut more branches off, pull it down again, and then I'll just end up with a tree trunk, which by the way would make amazing lumber if I had a mill. <laughs> Real rich, Dad. All right, should I try to pull it again? I mean, no doubt the tree is safe like that. It's not going anywhere, right? So I think, uh, I think we're gonna call it quits there for the day. So there you have it. Some common sense tree cutting next to some 12,000 volt power lines with the Kubota KX and the still, what is that, an MS-261? I hope you guys enjoyed that. One of the next videos will probably be cutting this thing up and getting it out of here. Maybe a campfire, one of these videos too, because we got a lot of uh, paperwork to burn and that sort of thing as well. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed that. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see some more and we'll see you in the next one.